Hi, I even know why this is a question that lots of teachers will ask you to draw all the isomers of C6H14. Now, uh, it's just a way you draw the six carbons in a straight chain. Now, you substitute with uh, hydrogens 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. This is the first isomer of C6H14. Now, we need to create the other isomers we need you to just break the chain and reattach in some way that still six carbons exist yeah now we can break the carbon from the left hand side or right hand side anyway we can make a chain of five carbons longest chain of five carbons One, two three four five okay now this is the chain of five carbons now what we do need to do is we have to substitute the carbon which we have already cut from the first chain we can substitute that in the place of left carbon or right carbon if you replace that then it again it becomes a same straight chain so there is no chance that we can select the left corner or right corner carbon so better go to the second carbon now again substitute with hydrogens and you all have 14 hydrogens here again so this is the second isomer of C6H14. Let's try to draw the third isomer. Uh, take the 5 carbon chain and try to reattach the uh, remaining carbon to the center carbon. Now we have uh, in the second structure you see the carbon attached to the center carbon and third structure carbon attached to the third carbon. Now again substitute with the remaining hydrogens you again totally get a count of 14 hydrogens so this is the third isomer of c6h14 so that's what we need to do with a single carbon we now we can chop two carbons from the first chain so that we can get a carbon chain length of four carbons now this is also called as a butane now try to uh, reattach the remaining two carbons to any of the positions if we select of reattaching those two carbons then we can get a uh, chain of four carbons substituted with two carbons now we can substitute those two carbons in the center so that we get an isomer now again you replace the hydrogens so again we have a total of 14 hydrogens and this will be your fourth isomer now try to attach the two carbons uh, to the second carbon atom from right side now you try to see that uh, the fourth structure which i am showing now is exactly similar to the third structure we have already drawn so fourth structure is not the isomer of c6h4 so we can cancel the structure now try to do some modification in the structure just i am showing you now what we can do is yeah i got an idea uh, make a four carbon chain and why don't we substitute the one of the carbon to the carbon which is on the right hand side carbon mean uh, i mean the second carbon on the right hand side so we get a structure of four carbon chain length and substituted with two carbons on the second carbon from right side so this can be the other isomer again a count of 14 hydrogens so this is equal to C6H14. This will be the isomer of C6H14. So there are totally 5 isomers possible for C6H14.